Padre Pio. At midnight, he hid this, under his pillow, and afterwards Satan. Once upon a time, among the green hills of San Giovanni Rotondo, there lived a Capuchin friar whose name resonated like a beacon of hope and holiness, Padre Pio. His life was a journey of deep faith, marked by miracles, suffering, and an unwavering devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. This humble friar, with his penetrating gaze and heart full of love for God, had a secret that he guarded carefully, a sacred ritual he performed every night before going to bed. Each night, after spending long hours in prayer and confession, Padre Pio would retire to his simple cell. There was no luxury in that room, just a wooden bed, a kneeler, and bare walls that reflected the austerity of his existence. But on that bed, hidden beneath his pillow, was a small treasure he always kept close, a blessed rosary, a gift from the Virgin Mary, which for him was much more than just a tool for prayer. It was his shield, his defense against the forces of evil that, as he often recounted, frequently tried to torment him. The rosary Padre Pio kept under his pillow was made of simple wooden beads, but to him, it was as if it had been forged with the power of heaven. Every night, he would hold it tightly, feeling the calm that spread through his heart, a calm he knew was the reflection of divine protection. Ever since he received that rosary, the nights had become a spiritual battle, and he knew the devil was watching, trying to find a way to draw near and trouble his soul. But the devil was cunning, he knew Padre Pio's spiritual strength and knew it wouldn't be easy to break him. Yet, every night, he would still try to creep into his cell like a crawling shadow trying to smother the light. Many times, Padre Pio had sensed the dark presence of the devil, feeling the air grow heavier, the cold seep into the room, and an oppressive sense of malice envelop him. In those moments, when the darkness seemed ready to consume him, he never wavered. He would reach under his pillow, finding comfort and strength in the familiar touch of the rosary. As soon as he grasped it, he felt a warm light radiate from the humble string of beads, a light that couldn't be seen with the eyes, but that emanated incredible power. It was as if the Virgin herself was descending to protect him, wrapping him in her mantle of love and mercy. The devil, enraged, would attempt to draw near but was repelled each time by the invisible force of that blessed rosary. It is said that his cries of fury echoed through the convent, though none of the other friars heard a thing, for this battle took place on the spiritual plane, a silent yet fierce conflict. Padre Pio, with the rosary clenched in his hands, would pray silently, invoking the protection of the Virgin. Every Hail Mary uttered with fervor was like an arrow shot against the devil, and every beat of the rosary that he touched was a link that bound him more closely to heaven. And so, night after night, the friar continued to fight the good fight, finding in the rosary not just comfort, but the strength needed to face those dark presences that sought to divert him from his path of holiness. There was never a night when this ritual didn't repeat itself, the rosary under the pillow, the fervent prayer, and the reassuring sense of being shielded by the love of the Virgin. But there was something even deeper at the heart of this nightly ritual. Before closing his eyes to the world and letting sleep envelop him, Padre Pio would recite a special prayer, 
a supplication he had learned in his youth and which, over time, he had made his own. This prayer had been passed down among saints and mystics, and it was said to have the power to drive away all evil. With the rosary gripped in his right hand and his heart filled with faith, Padre Pio would whisper these words, O oh Mary, Immaculate Mother of the Redeemer, I entrust this night and all my prayers to you. Guard my soul with the mantle of your protection, and let no shadow come near me. O oh Mother of God, Sovereign of the Heavens, I beseech you to be my refuge against every attack of the evil one. Through the power of your holy rosary, which I now hold with faith, may every temptation, every demon, every snare that seeks to trouble me be driven away. I invoke your blessing upon myself and all whom I love, that under your guidance and protection, we may be delivered from all evil and led into the eternal light of your Son, Jesus. O Most Holy Mother, you who have crushed the serpent's head, do not allow evil to have power over me. Grant me the strength to resist every temptation and to overcome every adversity that the evil one will try to place in my path. I trust in your mercy, and under your mantle, I take refuge, certain that no shadow can ever darken the light of your love. O Virgin of Virgins, Star of the Morning and Mystical Rose, intercede for me before the throne of the Most High. May your grace surround me like a blazing fire, capable of burning away all malice and of driving away every dark spirit. May the power of your name be for me like a sword, able to cut me off from all evil. In the name of Jesus, your Son, I ask you to illuminate my mind, strengthen my faith, and protect my body and soul from every assault of the devil. O oh, Queen of Heaven and Earth, receive this prayer of mine as an offering of love and faith, and grant me your protection, today and always. Amen. This prayer was not just a supplication, but a true declaration of war against evil. Padre Pio knew that by reciting it, especially at midnight, the hour when the forces of evil are strongest, an impenetrable barrier was formed around him, a light that repelled every shadow. And so it was for anyone who recited it with faith, the words of that prayer, combined with the power of the rosary, were a bulwark against all forms of evil, a spiritual weapon that no dark force could overcome. And so, night after night, Padre Pio continued his path of holiness, with the rosary under his pillow and the prayer in his heart, certain that no evil could ever conquer the light of God. His life became a living example of how faith, prayer, and devotion can be the most powerful weapons against the snares of the devil. And even today, his example and his prayer continue to inspire and protect all who, with faith, entrust themselves to the protection of the Blessed Virgin. <laughs>